Hello. So the first product that I'm going to talk about tonight are the shakes, which are incredible. I absolutely love the shakes. So we do two types of shakes. We do a protein shake and we do a meal replacement shake. And I'll explain the difference as I go along. So first of all, I'm going to start with the protein shake. So oftentimes people associate protein shakes with people that are like bodybuilders that work out a lot. And of course, yes, they do need high protein to repair all their rip muscles once they've been going to the gym and they do need that repair. But actually, all of us need protein. Um, we all need it to repair skin and tissues. You can cut yourself, but it's the protein that's going to help you to heal. We need it to make enzymes in our body. It helps our bones. It helps our skin, our hormones. It helps us immensely our hair to grow, nails. Um, we all absolutely need a good protein. It helps you feel fuller for longer. So again, if you're looking to lose weight, you want something that's going to make you uh, feel fuller for longer. You don't want something that's high sugar where you're going to, going to need something to eat pretty, pretty quick um, afterwards because you're going to have that craving, aren't you? Um, so the protein helps you to stay full of longer, and it does this because it takes longer to digest a protein. So again, vegan certified, gluten free, and by vegan I mean we contain no animal products at all within our own products. Um, so you're probably used to, if you've ever heard of protein before, it being a whey based protein. Um, if you've ever heard the nursery rhyme with the Miss Muppets out there, so they eating pet herds of whey. You will know that um, whey comes from the dairy industry and it's a byproduct, it's a waste product. They can't use it to make cheese um, or yogurt. So they sell it to, um, to the industry or the gym industry, is that even the right word? I don't know. And they, um, they take the proteins from it, long chain proteins that are hard to digest, and uh, they make it into a protein. Now, um, they put it into big tubs, they bulk it out. Because it's harder to digest, you're looking at up to 45% of absorption rate within the gut. The rest of it is bulked out with things like sweeteners and sugars and flavours. And you'll notice that you get a whole wide range of flavours um, from a, a whey based protein. And the reason for that is it tastes pretty great. It doesn't taste great. So, yeah, we don't use whey. We actually use pea rice and cranberry, and depending on your food group, depends which one you absorb and digest and process better. So, um, so that's the protein that we use. We have a full amino acid score still. We have 22 different amino acids. Nine of those are essential. And when I say nine of those are essential, I mean nine of those the body doesn't produce itself. So we, we need we need those amino acids. Um, it is an up to 95% absorption rate as well, which is a huge difference to a whey based protein. So, you might see huge tubs of whey based protein in the gym or I don't know, in a health food shop, for example, but the price you might as well cut that in half of what you're getting. The amount you're getting is half that because you're not going to absorb the rest. So, you know, it, it's not like you're getting that product, or you can double the price. It's up to you, it's, it's twice as expensive. Okay. So, the difference between a protein shake and a meal replacement shake. The protein shake is for people rather than like me, really. I hate counting calories. I've never counted calories in my life. I could never do any sort of plan where I have to count stuff. It's like, I can count, obviously, but it's just, it doesn't inspire me. It doesn't inspire me at all. Being able to nourish my body and not make myself feel restricted. Completely is my passion, completely inspires me. I love to make protein shakes because I can add stuff in. So I put in half an avocado, I'll put in some coconut milk or almond milk, a handful of spinach, some blueberries, and I'll blitz it all up in my Nutribullet. And I absolutely love it. And it gives me so much variety because I can add loads of different stuff in there. And I know it's all good for me. I know it's going to nourish my body. And, you know, even like raw broccoli is amazing in a shake. If you've never had a raw broccoli protein shake, I highly, highly recommend it. It is amazing. A meal replacement shake is higher in carbohydrates because it's designed to replace a whole meal. And you mix it with water. And it's great for really busy people that literally just want to do three scoops of meal replacement. Put some water in, give it a good shake, or blitz it if you want. If you've got neutral bullet, um, I find it has a smoother taste if you blitz it, and they're out the door. But, you know, it's great. So when we go to Vegas on our global training conference, then I take a meal replacement because literally I want to do my shake. I can't take my neutral bullet. I want to do my shake and get to the conference. Um, so and they taste amazing. Both of them taste amazing. They both have 20 grams of protein in full amino acid score and 22 vitamins and minerals as well. So if you're currently taking um, like 
vitamins and minerals in tablet form, then look at the protein shakes because, like I say, 95% of absorption rate. Depends where you're getting the tablets from, but oftentimes if you put them in a glass of water overnight and see how much is left at the end of the day, you'll see how much you're actually absorbing as well. So yeah, with the protein powder, there's loads and loads of different, of different um, shake recipes as well, which I will share in my Facebook group. I hope that's been helpful. I'll speak to you soon.